We're back. Is the fight for the Republican nomination shaping up now to be Mitt Romney versus the Tea Party? The new Des Moines Register poll of Iowa voters makes it look like that. Romney's neck and neck with Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, who's head of the Tea Party in the Congress. Mark Meckler is the co-founder of the Tea Party Patriots, and Matt Kibbe is the president of Freedom Works. Let me just leave this wide open with no pushy liberal questions of all. I want you guys to have a complete free form here on the mat here right now. Mark, when you look at the president, presidential field that's emerging right now in these polls, what do you feel about it as a Tea Party leader? Well, uh, first of all, I'm not a Tea Party leader. I appreciate that. But I'm just trying to reflect the millions of people who are out there in the movement. And what they see is a slate of qualified candidates. They're going through doing a mature analysis. What they're not going to do is get pumped up and enthusiastic about any one candidate. We already saw what enthusiasm and excitement bring to the White House. He's sitting there now, and they're looking for something completely different than that. You're not looking for charisma, then? Definitely not. We're looking for a record. And I think if I had to choose one word, what we're looking for is principle. We're looking for somebody who says what they're going to do and then does what they said. So you hate Romney? <laughs> no, there's no personal vitriol there no, for no, any candidate. No, no, because I get the to the point. I can, I, can re I can hear you, sir. Romney was pro-choice in Massachusetts. He created the health care model for Barack Obama. He ran as a moderate to a liberal, I guess you'd say, Republican up there. Now he's a pro-life, hard as nails pro-lifer, and he's a Mr. Anti-Obama health care, and he wants to get rid of Obama. That's a pretty much a 180, isn't it, about principle? It is, and I think those kind of flip-flops don't bode well for him in the Tea Party movement. Let me go, let me go to Matt Kibbe here. Matt, what, what do you see when you look at this field? Well, we're trying to measure all the candidates based on some objective criteria laid out by the Tea Party, the contract from America. And the one reason that we've been critical of Mitt Romney is if you look at some of those core principles, particularly on health care and the individual mandate, he just doesn't measure up. And, he, and he's, he's so entrenched on that issue in particular, it's hard to imagine him being able to debate the President of the United States on the question of health care freedom, on the question of government health care, because the President himself has celebrated Romney care. And not only that, but even before that, when he ran against Ted Kennedy for the Senate, you know better than I these guys' record. And I'll go back to uh, Mark on this. Romney supported a national uh, uh, individual mandate just exactly like the President's in the Chafee bill. So he was, you could argue that he was a pioneer in terms of individual mandate. <laughs> which at the time was argued by the Heritage Foundation and other conservative forces as an alternative to the Kennedy-style, you know, Canada plan. I, I That's think not you're how right. two parties his, roll. His and his record is long, and I think it speaks for himself, and I think that's how people are going to judge him. They're going to look at what he's done, not just what he said. Well, let me ask you about this other fellow, uh, Pawlenty, who seems to be fading like an, an old battery here. What happened to him? He's for cap and trade. Is that as lethal as being for health care in the eyes of Tea Party people? Well, he flirted with cap and trade. He's not nearly entrenched on well, that. Well, let's go to Romney. Huntsman, who supported it. Right. But Is he in trouble with you guys, too? I don't actually take Governor Huntsman all that seriously as a candidate. Okay. He, he doesn't seem to measure up on economics. But, but to go back to your question, I think Pawlenty had an opportunity on health care in the last debate, and he, and he whiffed. Yes, he whiffed. That's the word. He didn't take him on on that issue. Yeah. He called it a, a, a bombing care, and then he wouldn't use the word again. Let me go back to Mark on that same question. I'm looking at the three candidates who have been called the front runners, going left to right, uh, Romney, Pawlenty, and Huntsman. Are any of them on your screen of possible candidates as enthusiastic uh, champions for what you believe? You know, I don't think we're seeing a lot of strength or leadership from any of those candidates. I, I don't think they're the front-runner candidates, according to the Tea Party movement. Okay, let's go right now to your field of, without picking a, a leader yet, you're not a leader, you told me that, you're, but you do speak for the, for the people in the party. Let me ask you, of the Tea Party people, who are you looking at as potential nominees you can get excited about? Well, again, I don't think it's about excitement. I think it's about analyzing record. I think, generally speaking, if you look at Michelle Bachman, I know you admire her as a politician, and she's no, been No, as a human being. No, because, <laughs> and let me make this clear to people, left, right, and center, what I like about her is, I like people who are what they are. I'm tired of right. frauds. What I like right. about her is that she and her husband, who seems like a good guy, too, raised 25 foster kids. There is no way not to respect that in our society. I agree with you. And I okay. think that's what a lot of people, that's what resonates with them. She is who she is, like her hater. You get what you get. What you see on camera is the same thing you're going to see off camera. And I think that's refreshing to people. I think people see a similar character in Herman Cain. So people are interested in that. Obviously, there's some interest in the fact that he doesn't have the political resume. So those are two of the people that I hear those names regularly. Matt? 
Who do you look to as possible people who you could vet favorably? Well, I do think Romney's created sort of a vacuum, and Michelle Bachman. Who do you want to come in the race that isn't in it? Well, I, I, based on record, it's, er, it's early, and and you could not by at, normal standards. It's not early. Well, by the decentralized democratization of politics standards that okay. was created by the Tea Party, it's still pretty early. Okay. But someone like Perry is thinking about coming in, and I think if you can pierce the armor of of the Romney Romney myth. And, and allow some of these other candidates to step up into that vacuum, I think we might have a real debate about the issues that Tea Partiers really care about. Are you guys, and I want to ask you both to speak for your party now, really, I want you, this is important. Are you guys as appalled as I am as the fact that the press reports on nothing but how much money is being raised from big donors and, the, and the, the attempt to freeze out people in this campaign because they don't have enough bucks up front? Mark, that seems to be the way I this thing appalled. is being covered. Yeah, I am absolutely appalled by that, but that seems to be the nature of media nowadays. It's it's literally all about the money. They're going to follow the candidates that are raising the money. That's a problem in our system. You, you, Matt, you know, I've said that Mitt you've Romney, seen the kind of money Romney's raising. Right. I've I've said that Mitt Romney may be the Charlie Crist of this cycle. He's raising all the money. He's got all the big donors. He's that's got all not the an accolade, ID. is it? It's not for me. It is not. Okay, thank you, guys. I think we're shaping up the thing. It's an interesting battle coming up between the populist people like you and the inside people. Mark Meckler, thank you so much. Please come back, Matt. Keep us up to date on this fight. When we return, let me finish with Thanks, the tale Chris. of two front runners, Romney and Bachman. You're watching Hardball only on MSNBC. More of this division coming. Coming here.